What's up, everybody? Vape and Tuck here. Man, it's delicious. It's like vaping a bowl of strawberry ice cream. I'm working on another juice. Uh, yeah. I'm happy with it, but I'm not. It tastes just like a bowl of strawberry ice cream, but I want it to taste like a bowl of strawberry ice cream with some chocolate on it, and I can't get the chocolate to stand out. I got chocolate covered bowl of strawberry ice cream. We're a country built on the idea that education is smooth, is man. Smooth. That success comes to those who never All right, so why did I make this video? I made this video for a couple reasons. One reason is to tell Chris Shoop to shut his pie hole. Um, stop contacting my raffle winners. You're not going to find one that says I didn't send him something. Um, Y'all take your butt hurt and move on. I, I took my banning from the group and I haven't said a word outside of right now. But I'm telling you, stop. You're bugging the people. Nobody wants to hear it. Everybody that won stuff from me received it and you're not going to find somebody that didn't. Um, Ivan, whatever his name is, did not receive his Angels and Demons mod yet. The post office says it takes time to go from Indiana to Canada. So he will receive it. The lady at the post office told me to give it another week. So I'm going to give it another week. If he hasn't received it at the end of that week, I will then refund his $14. Um, and I will go back to the original list of people that were in the raffle, and I will send somebody else a prize because he's not acting right. So he's not getting anything from me other than his refund or that mod. Um... As far as the Steve guy, he received the refund, so I don't know why he's saying I ripped him off because I gave his money back. And I was selling him juice at, under my cost just to get him to try it, so I that's not ripping somebody off. But enough of that, let's get to why I am here. I am making this video because I got some neat stuff in today. Uh, the first thing I received... Where'd he go? Oh, here it is. This right here. Focus. 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 Come on. It's 26 gauge canthal wire, 100 foot rolls. There we go. Uh, there you can kind of see 26 gauge, 100 feet canthal A1. Uh, it's amazing vape premium canthal A1 round wire, 100 feet, 26 gauge. I got 100 rolls. I also have 100 rolls of 24, 100 rolls of 30, 100 rolls of 32, 100 rolls of 28, 100 rolls of 22, 100 rolls of 18, and uh, 100 rolls of three different types of flat wire. So, I got wire. It's all not here yet. It's going to be coming in the next few days. Uh, what happened is I went to eBay, and there was a guy raffling or auctioning off lots of wire. Like, he bought pretty much $2,000 worth of the wire per lot. So, that was kind of cool. And in two, for $2,000, you pretty much got 100 rolls of each gauge. Um at 100 foot per roll. And the next reason is this bad mamma jamma right here. 
This is the troll mod by Wotofo. Made by Wotofo. It is an authentic device. There is the scratch and sniff sticker for authenticity. The code is right here. You scratch that off. Uh, I also have them in black. And of course, the new home for it is my Dopo mod. So, I have not built it yet. I just took it out of the package. It resembles the uh, the Mutation XV2 a lot. But it's got a lot deeper. This is a lot deeper than what. It's got like Cyclop Eye style uh, airflow. But this this is a lot deeper than what the Mutation X was. Uh, the Mutation X V3, however, is supposed to be just as deep. So I actually can't wait for those to get here if they ever do. Uh, for those of you that are ordered, um, I know you're all cool, but she did contact me last night, told me that she's in the United States, so she's having trouble um, with the emails and getting back to people. And I told her flat out I didn't care. I just want my, my tracking numbers. Supposedly our items are in the United States. So that means they should be here shortly, I would think. Um, you know, these troll mods bounced around from Chicago to Missouri, back to Indianapolis, to Chicago, back to Missouri again, for about two weeks before they actually decided to deliver them today. So I'm not expecting, I mean, it's not, it's, it is their fault and it's not. You know what I'm saying? If they would have sent it, UPS or DHL or FedEx, everything would have been fine. But they sent it e packet. And for you guys that don't know, e packet is the same thing as USPS, it's just the international name for it. So these took a month to get here. Um, and I was I was on the first run order, so and I I, I was seeing people with theirs before. Um, you know, while ours was bouncing around all over the country, uh, I was seeing people post the videos of them, and I was getting pissed. It all works out, though. Everything happens for a reason. I, I'm a strong believer in nothing happens um, without reason behind it, without some just cause, some bigger future plan. Maybe the plan was when everybody else runs out of theirs, I got my stock, and then I'm going to sell out of my stock. So maybe, maybe that's the plan. I don't know. It seems like sales have died off here lately. Things were crazy. I could barely keep up. I could barely keep anything in stock for last, like, three months. And now it seems like it slowed down a little bit. I got some stock built up again. My my main goal here is to, you know, build up some stock for the store. But hey, I, I'm not complaining. Y'all buy me out all the time. That's that's not you know don't don't think that. Keep buying. And I will match any online price. Um. I'll take that back. There's one place that I can't match, and I can't do it just because they're buying the cheapest clones they can find in China. And, you know, like with uh, like with a mod combo the other day, they had me beat by nine bucks. But the guy still bought for me because I'm like two and a half, three hours away from him. Um, I don't I don't know the reputation of the other company. I had never heard of them before the guy said it, said the name to me. So I'm not I'm not exactly fully sure why uh he chose to spend the extra nine bucks outside of that I was closer than they were. He'd get their product faster. Matter of fact, he ordered their stuff like three days before he ordered my stuff. 
and mine got to him yesterday, and his other stuff's not gonna get there to to him till Monday. So that that may have been a reason, as my stuff gets to you quick. Please unlock. How the hell do you lock these things? Um, if you catch me on a day I'm going to the post office, you'll get your stuff in two days. I, I go to the post office Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I was going every day, but I got to be honest, man. I got I got too much going on to go to the post office every day. I'm like this close to having to hire somebody to help me out. Uh, taking care of my three-year-old all day every day. I'm a stay-at-home dad. Uh, I'm making juice now. I, I'm you know buying products, selling products online through Facebook. I'm hustling all that stuff all day long. Um, testing all the products that are coming in. I'm doing the YouTube reviews. Um, keeping up with the vape mail that comes in every day. It's just it's it's a lot of work. I didn't expect it to get you know this overpowering. Like look at this mess I got over here. That's all the vape stuff. I have that one cabinet right there sorted out. Those are the Wotofo troll mods right there. That's all the wire right there. That's my kid's Pringle chip thing that's not supposed to be there. Then we have the Cloud 4 T8, the Smog 150 watt mod, the Cloud uh, Segele 150 watt, the, the Segele 100 watt plus, the ZNA 50, the. Um, the dope. Hey, 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 hey! My kid about knocked off, knocked over my freaking 70 inch TV. Um, and then I've got a Vamo, uh, actually a few Vamo sitting over there at this at the end. He was trying to knock that over. That would have not made me happy at all. I just bought that for the shop or for the you know chill out in here. Uh, as far as more RDAs coming in, I have the Haze mod coming in. I've got more Dark Horse V2s coming in. You guys bought me out of those quick. I ordered uh, 25 of those, and I've got one left. Um, also, I have 26650 Dark or uh, 26650 Doge coming in. 26650 Stellaris coming in. And if I can find another 26650 RDA I like, I will bring it in. Um, I'm going to have coming in the different size Kanger tanks. I will have more Kangers coming in. Um, I got the Doge V4s coming. Of course, I have the, uh, the Mutation XV3s coming. So Thinking about some 26650 plume veils as well. Let's see. And let's see what else is on my manifest here. Oh, I've got the big curl kits uh, coming in. I've got the uh, the singles now. Um, these are going to be selling for ten bucks a piece. If you purchase anything else, like if you purchase a mod, I'll say those for ten bucks. Uh, I'm kind of torn with this E Leaf I stick. Everybody keeps asking for them, but my opinion on that is, if you're gonna buy a regulated device, me personally, I'd rather have something I can change batteries in. Because once that E Leaf dies, that battery—I mean, batteries can go bad at any time. Um, I'm sure some of you know with 18650 running mods and stuff, batteries can just poop out at any minute. And the bad thing about the E-Leaf is you can't change the batteries and once that battery dies, you're done. Um, that's why I've not purchased the SMY260 outside of their uh, douchebag company or the Var the Variant uh, 260 because, I, I, I mean, those batteries are expensive and there's no guaranteed life of the battery. It could, you can get a bad cell and then it's done. Oh. Wow, these are cool. They have the geysers 
in pink, white, and like a metallic blue, or like a teal. Those are kind of sweet. I might have to pick some of them up. This is the site that I use to kind of like see what's out there. I actually buy from 10 Max. Y'all know 10 Max. I've talked about them dozens of times. But I come to this site just to kind of see what's out there and who's peddling what and prices. So when I call my people, I can be like, well, you know, I can get this for this year. And I hustle just like anybody else hustles. I, I never pay what they're asking. Um, cause then I couldn't give you guys the deals that I give if I paid, you know, like this right here, they want $12 and 50 cents for a cheap ass clone little boy. Well, that quality of a product I would sell for 15 bucks. Um, at 12 50 plus shipping, 14 50 a piece. How am I going to sell it for 15 bucks? Uh, I usually make two to $3 per item. I go off of, of, you know, selling to a lot of you guys because I'm not I'm not trying to get rich I'm just trying to help support this this house and food in my kids stomach and uh, you know, I, I definitely am not buying no new toys half these stuff that I have these things that I keep for myself that's part of my bartering when I order is they gotta send me one for myself that's why I did the vape and tuck YouTube channel so they send me, you know, extra things so I can give away and, and review. So I review one, give one away. And uh, this is actually a good price right here. It's only the V2 Doge, though. Those are kind of in the past. The Monkey V2 RDA. <clears throat> I've not seen that too much. Freak shows, I already got those. Uh, Whoa. I need some opinion. I need an opinion from you guys. What do you guys think about these? <clears throat> like these, uh, I'm trying to think of one that is hard as hell to build. But these these crazy build RDAs. Do you, do you guys like difficult builds, or do you guys like the more simple stuff? I, I select the Marquise. The Marquise looks like an absolute pain in the ass to build. The touch of their but I, I don't know what you guys are into. I mean, that's the problem I'm having here. There's so much stuff out here, and I obviously can't carry it all. So if you guys give me some you know, hints on what you're looking for, what you'd like to see, um, you know, I'm, I'm already going, you know, vape shop to vape shop, seeing what they have, and trying to order, you know, what they don't have. So, I don't like to fall in line with anybody. I don't like to be like anybody else. I like to be different. I've always been like that. So, I, I try to keep in stock stuff nobody has. These dove pos. You know, I'm sure fucking a couple of these douchebags. I'm sorry, that was rude. I'm sure a couple of these people that order for these local vape meats or vape... Uh, whatever these so, uh, mom, retail stores are going to be ordering the dope pose now because I've made a video and I have them and there's somebody out there that seems to want everything I have I don't care it doesn't bug me at all you can ride my coattails man it's no big deal Coattail's not that long, and it's not that freaking glorious. So, get on and let's go for a ride. There's some cool things coming. Uh, working with Jeff and Dan, trying to get uh, something else going as far as. Uh, this war, this vape war we have going on with our local people and seeing if we can, uh, you know, get together and create a movement and create some ruckus and, uh, you know, get us a real good speaker. I'm, I'm definitely not 
not what I meant. Anywhere near the one to go down and represent nobody. I got a mouth like a sailor. But uh, we're definitely going to try to get together, get a, a good speaker, someone to represent uh, Northwest Indiana, and uh, see what we can do as far as delaying or, I don't know, it's at a point now where it's a little rough, but now it's time to step it up. These What was done before didn't work, and I kind of figured that. I didn't get too, too serious about it because... As you've seen, if y'all were watching uh, uh, vape, Vapors TV, every one of them politicians pretty much admitted and agreed they knew nothing about what was going on, and they still voted for it. So I, I seen that coming, and I wasn't going to get myself worked up because, you know, I wasn't worried about the $5,000 deal because I knew that wasn't going to stick. I, well, I'm not worried about the 24% because that's not going to stick. Um, this this is all going to come to terms. It's all going to be fair and reasonable for us. I the, I think all the hype being created is, is too much. Um, and some of y'all may not agree with that. And hey, we're all entitled to our own opinions. But my opinion is this hype is, is, is too much. Um, it's not going to be what it's what's written. They they said it. I've been saying it. They can't charge five grand for a freaking license every year. They can't do twenty four wholesale fucking tax. They they cannot stop the sale of e liquid in Indiana. They may be able to stop us from from putting nicotine or we have to use a certain nicotine or something. Whatever. We're we're all going to find a way to work around that. Um, <laughs> I've had several long, heated conversations with a few people over this, and it's just like I said, they went down there, you know, they were like, yes, I'll vote for this, but we're going to, you know, we'll have to make it better for the people. It's going to be okay. Um, vaping is going nowhere. The guy that wrote the bill is legit. He's a good dude. As much as y'all think he's a fucking retard and, a, you know, just out there for the money, yes, politicians are all out there for the money. But when you get past that wanting the money part, the dude that wrote the bill is a solid good dude, and he's going to do us right. Um, I, I, I'm not saying relax, don't keep doing your petitions and stuff, because, yes, you do need to do that. We all need to do that. But... You know, acting like it's the end of vaping or the world's ending, it's not. We just have to calmly collect ourselves and do the right steps. Um, I sent down my information, my my freaking six-page letter. Um, you know, people are saying, oh, vaping talks not even involved. He, he doesn't care. Oh, well, bullshit. I did what I had to do, but I did it. Without freaking creating a big ruckus or creating a, a huge panic attack, I I sat back. I had a professional type out a professional letter, and I signed it and had it sent. Um, and I sent it to multiple people so that it would get out. And I, I went over, you know, battery safety in the letter. I went over. Beginner to uh, advanced vapors. I went through juice making and what I agreed with and what I didn't agree with. Um, and I went through the fact that if Indiana passes it how it is, they're going to lose a lot of businesses because they're all going to pack up, go to Illinois, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee. People will start scattering. People at the borders will scatter. And it's not because we don't care about you or the community. It'll be strictly, I, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right where I'm at. But the people that do choose to go to another state, they're not giving up on you. They're not giving up on the community. They are doing what they have to do for their business. It is not all about money. But when you have a business and it is your livelihood, 
you have to do what you have to do to keep your livelihood. Um, I hear, I see a lot of bashing. If this, if they go to Illinois, they don't care about you anyways. Fuck that. They're protecting their investment. A lot of you don't realize what an investment in a vape shop is. It's fifty grand for a good vape shop. Fifty grand. That's rent. That's getting it turned on. That's insurance. That's licenses, permits. That's vape gear. You know, not everybody can have somebody put some shit on the shelf and hey, I'll pay you later for it. Ninety percent of us pay for our product when we get it. Um, so as far as we don't care or they don't care if they're going to pack up and go to five minutes over the Illinois border or five minutes over the Michigan border to keep their business alive, that's bullshit. And I'm going to call it, and that was fucking wrong to say that. Um, so I, my mouth is, I'm telling you, it's horrible. I'm, my kid's so invested in cartoons, he's not here, but thank God. But I, I have a big problem with with that, people attacking people. Um, I, I've been guilty of it here recently. I've attacked a few shops. I've attacked a few people. Um, and it's not right for me to do it. It's just as much as it's not right for anybody else to do it. We all lose our heads sometimes. We all make a bad decision when we speak. Um, but you can't blame a guy for wanting to, to move his, his business a few miles to protect it, to keep his family fed. You know, we're not all, you know, borrowing a business or, <laughs> or, uh, whatever, you know, some of us do own our shit. Some of us do have our savings invested in what we're doing. Uh, me personally, without even a shop, I'm 20 grand into this. It's a lot of savings. I, I, you know, everything I sell, I turn. And I keep turning and I keep turning, buying bigger stuff for you guys, better devices, uh, authentic stuff. You know, it just keeps turning. Keeping things interesting. I've literally not taken a dime from this since I started doing this. I got lucky and I had a wife that, su that supported everything that I did and took care of us, you know, took care of us. My, my, my situation is changing. So now I got to start making money. So now I'm a little more eager to get the shop. I'm a little more eager to play with the prices a little bit to try to stay fair and still make a little bit more than I'm making now. Um, you know, I, I, I'm going to be legit with y'all. I'm not going to try to hide nothing. If if I can sell you something for 10 bucks, I'll sell it to you. But if I got to sell it to you for 15, that's what it is. Um, I, I'm not an eBay guy that buys 10,000 units at a time. So I, I do my best to match everybody's prices. But if you come to me and say, hey, you said you match this price, I, I most of the time I'm, I'm going to. There, there's a few deals out there, one website in particular. But like I said, they got they got crap. I can't I can't give good product and match crap product. It just it isn't possible because the prices are different. No matter how many you order of a good product, if you order five good products and five ten products and five junk products, those five junk products are still going to be cheaper than the five good products were. That's just that's that is what it is. But uh, you all may see a, a corporation come through here soon with three people. Um, it'll be a good thing if we get it worked out. I think it'll benefit you guys. It'll benefit us. It'll benefit the community. Um, and if that happens, keep your eyes open because stores are going to start popping. Uh, I got I got some pretty good backing lined up, and I'm just I can't do it myself though. I, I just like I said, my plate's full. I need help, and I've reached out for some help to some good people, some people I I'd, I'd be willing to call you know brothers, and uh, you never know vapor life, baby.
Y'all have a good night. Let's take